I'm done with this. I'm making you quit your job and go take care of my family. I can't stand them anymore. And I'm never going back to their place to help them. What? Are you crazy? Don't act like this is new to you. You know I've been struggling with them for a long time. I told everyone I couldn't handle my parents alone. But you, my wife, you never lifted a finger to help me. You were too busy. I've spent a fortune on them. I'm at my breaking point. I've done everything I could for my parents. Now it's your turn to do your duty. Hold on, Kelton. That's not what we agreed on. We promised to take care of our own parents when they got sick and old. Remember? What? You were the one who made that promise. Remember? Five years ago, when my parents got seriously ill and needed our help, you refused to go with me. You said we should only care for our own parents, not each other's. And you said you were my husband and I should respect your decision. Well, that was... And that's why I've been taking care of my parents by myself ever since. They live far away, so I have to drive there every day, wasting three hours of my time. I remember when they first asked for help, I would stay with them all night and only get two hours of sleep between work and them. You know I did it all by myself. So now you have to do the same. You owe it to your parents. Shut up. Your parents were nothing compared to mine. They didn't need as much care as mine do. My parents are ten times more demanding. That's why I'm not going to keep that promise anymore. What? Your parents are dead, right? So you only had to take care of them for a year or two. Your mother died first, then your father. But my parents are not like that. They're going to live a lot longer and need a lot more care from you. They both have early dementia, but their health is still good. They'll be around for at least another five years. But I don't want to waste my time and money on them anymore. You can't compare our parents, Kelton. They're not the same. We agreed to take care of our own parents, and that's what we'll do. You can't break your promise. But my parents are your parents too, right? You married into my family, remember? That means you have to take care of my parents until they die. Do you really expect me to go along with that selfish idea of yours? Shut up, Harley. You're my wife, and you don't talk back to me. I'm sick and tired of caring for my parents. I'm done with it. You're going to take over for me. You're going to quit your job and become a housewife. And you're going to take care of my parents whenever they need you. Are you insane? You want me to quit my job just to do your job. You're not only making me take care of them for you, but you're also taking away my job from me. You know it's impossible to work and care for old parents at the same time. And I can't have you neglecting our house either. So you're going to be a housewife and do all the chores here. And then you're going to go out and take care of my parents. And I'll be free to go back to work and make more money for us. You know I love my job, right? You know it makes me happy, right? But you don't care about that. You only care about yourself. You're too selfish to help your own parents. Why don't you just hire someone to take care of them? There are plenty of services that can do that. Or you can put them in a retirement home. What are you talking about? That's a waste of money. You think I'm going to pay for something that my wife can do for free? I'd rather you just quit your job and do everything for me and my parents. Have you ever thought about quitting your own job and taking care of your parents full time? Are you stupid? I make way more money than you do. I'm not going to give up my income and depend on someone who makes peanuts like you. And what I said to you today is not a request. It's an order. You're my wife and you do what I say. You're going to quit your job and focus on the housework and my parents. And you're going to tell your boss that you're quitting today. Hey Luna, long time no see. I hate to bring this up out of the blue, but I need to talk to you about your parents. I need to ask you if you'd be willing to help me take care of them. Uh, what? You know that's not an option, right? I have my own life and my own job. I'm busy. And your parents are not my problem. They're my brother's problems. Why are you asking me to look after them when it's his duty? But your brother can't handle it anymore? 
He's asking me to quit my job and take care of them full time? He wants me to give up my life for them. But I can't do that. So why don't we all share the burden? Why don't we all take turns caring for your parents and save ourselves from losing everything? Oh, please. This is where the wife should step up, right? You should be ready to sacrifice yourself for us, for your husband and his family. Now, go and do your best with my parents, Harley, and leave us alone. What? And don't act like you don't know what to do. You've done this before, right? You took care of your own parents, right? I think you're the best person for the job. I have no clue how to help them. Really? So you're going to act like I'm the only one who should care for your parents? Then can you at least chip in some money for us to hire some caregivers? Then none of us would have to go there all the time. And I wouldn't have to quit my job. We can hire someone to watch them during the week. Please help me pay for that. What? Why should I pay for that? I don't have money for that. I have my own expenses. I'm not going to help you take care of my parents. And I'm certainly not going to pay for someone else to do it. Are you serious? Stop trying to dump your responsibilities on me, Harley. Just do your job as Kelton's wife and take care of his parents. You're his wife, remember? So don't bother me with things that stress me out. Quit your job and take care of his parents. That's all I have to say. I'm leaving my mom and dad to you, okay? Hey, Harley. I hear that you're stealing money from my parents, and I'm not going to let you get away with it. All you do is laze around all day. So why should they be paying you anything? Huh? Luna, what are you talking about? I'm not lazing around or stealing anything from your parents. Don't play dumb with me. I know everything that's going on with my parents and you. I know that you asked them to pay you to take care of them. And that's why they're giving you two grand a month. Well, someone must have told you that, but the money is something that your parents and I agreed on. And it's none of your business. I had to quit my job to take care of them, remember? So when your parents found out, they offered to pay me for my work. But you're taking way too much from them. Why do you get to make two grand a month doing nothing? I've seen them recently, and they look fine. They don't have any signs of dementia or any other illness. Why are they paying you when they can just take care of themselves? Wait, you've been visiting them recently? Of course I have. My brother and I are concerned about our parents, and we wanted to see how their dementia was. But when I saw them the other day, they were absolutely normal. They didn't need you there. They certainly didn't need to pay you that much for nothing. I'm not going to let you take any more money from them when all you do is sit around their house and do nothing. You're wrong, Luna. You don't know what it's like. Their symptoms have been worse lately, but they just had a good week. Normally, they're very difficult to deal with. They need me to do everything for them. What? They've been getting worse this past month, and they only looked okay this week. There are times when they leave the house and get lost, and there are times when they don't recognize me and tell me to get out of their house. It's not easy, Luna. It's not easy at all. And it's not just one of them. It's both of them. Stop lying to me, you bitch. I told Kelton everything I saw and heard about you, and he was furious. He had no idea you were taking $2,000 a month from them, and he didn't agree with it at all. You've got to be joking. The reason we never told him about the money is because he was the one who made me quit my job in the first place. He dumped his responsibilities on me. You've been doing nothing for the past two months as a housewife, and you've also been robbing my parents of $2,000 a month. You're nothing but a leech sucking the life out of everyone around you. Did you just call me a leech? I did. You've been living off my brother's hard-earned money, and now we've found out that you've been taking money from my parents too, for doing nothing. That's what leeches do. And because of that, Kelton doesn't want you as his wife anymore. I'm suggesting you divorce my brother right now. 
What? Divorce? If I had known they'd pay me 2000 a month, I would have jumped at the chance to take care of my parents. It would have been the perfect job for me. I could just lounge around the house with my parents all day and make two grand for that. And I could take any day off and go to all the concerts I've been dying to see. I'm going to take your place as their caregiver. So that means you're out. You're fired as their caretaker. And I'm getting that sweet $2,000 a month from them now. I'm so glad to hear that you're finally going to take care of your parents for me. But why do you have to make me divorce your brother for that? Because you're useless to this family. And you'll be even more useless after I take your job. What? Are you sure you know what you're talking about? How can you ask me something like that? I know that after I take your job, you'll be desperate to find another one. But at your age, no one will hire you or pay you well. You have no value anymore, except for cleaning the toilet. And my brother can do that himself. So it's better for him if you leave. You're lying, right? You're going to take care of your own parents just because you found out that they pay me and then you think I have no place in your family? What's wrong with you and your brother? I don't have time to listen to you whine about the truth. Just get out of our lives, you leech. I'm going to make sure you're divorced from my brother after you failed him and my parents. Thank you so much. Then good luck with your parents. <laughs> huh? I'll get those divorce papers signed and delivered for you. And I really mean it when I say thank you. You've given me a new chance at life. Wait, what? You're being told to divorce your husband and you're thanking me? Have you lost your mind? You should be begging me not to divorce you and offering me all your money to stop me from kicking you out of my brother's life, right? No, anyone in my situation would be happy to hear this from you and thank you. You've freed me from the hell of taking care of your parents. I've never been happier. What? It was hell taking care of my parents? You really thought it was hell? Taking care of two healthy adults, huh? Well, good luck with that. You have no idea what you're getting into. Dementia is the worst thing that can happen to anyone. And you'll soon find out how hard it is to care for two people who have it. They'll ask you for food over and over, even though they just ate. They'll forget who you are or where they are and scream at you. They'll even call the cops on you, because they don't know you. And you'll have to explain to the cops that they have dementia. Good luck, Luna. You'll have to apologize to everyone because of them. But you'll get used to it. What? And don't forget that you'll have to be at their house every day, from dawn to dusk. And you'll have to do all the chores and cook all the meals. You'll have no days off, and you'll only make $2,000 a month. That's nothing to me, but you think it's worth it for all that work. That's so sweet of you. Wait, apologize to everyone? Cops? What are you talking about? Do my parents really cause that much trouble for you? They do, and they've gotten worse since your brother stopped caring for them. I was hoping he would help me, but he said that since I'm a housewife, I should do it all by myself. And he never helped me again. And you know that I never wanted to be a housewife, right? I had to quit my job for this and I got nothing in return. You're lying, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't bore you with my problems and your parents. You won't learn anything from me. You'll have to see for yourself. Now, I'm going to divorce Kelton, and you can take care of his parents. Hey, what the heck is up with this divorce paperwork? When I got back home from work, there was a bunch of filled out paperwork for divorce on the living room table. I heard about everything from Luna. There's no need for me as your wife anymore since I'll no longer be caring for your parents. And I won't be able to make enough money with whatever job I find now, right? So I'm only doing as you guys have asked, and I'm leaving you. Why are you acting all surprised over that? A divorce? Are you an idiot or something? You should be apologizing to me right now for what you've done and handing me all that money that you've earned from your parents to me? And I was going to stay quiet about how useless you are and let you back into my house after all that. 
So you both are only upset about what's happened because you wanted the money I made from your parents. But I'm sorry, Kelton. That money was earned by me for caring for both your mom and dad. I have no plan to give you the money I've earned, and we'll be divorcing you now. I'm not screwing around right now. If you were to divorce me, then what would happen to my parents? I thought you already knew that your sister would be taking over for me. She said that she's going to be their caregiver now, since she can earn $2,000 from them each month. Well then, what about me? Who will care for me? Who's going to make my food for me every day and do the chores here? I don't freaking know, you dunce. You should be able to do that sort of stuff yourself. What? I don't see you suffering from dementia right now, and you can still move around on your own without any help. So that means you can do all the chores and cooking yourself, right? You can't just expect to push all that work back onto me, now that I'm no longer caring for your parents. Oh wait, does this mean that you're the real parasite now since you can't seem to take care of yourself without your wife? Huh? When I'm gone, there's not going to be anyone around for you that'll be willing to care for you, as though you're some kind of old man. So, you're gonna have to learn how to take care of yourself again as a single man. Because things will only become harder for you as you grow older, and find it harder to remember things or walk on your own. Unless you start saving now for the future, where you'll need to put into a home or hire someone to come to the house and take care of you. I know that I'll have to do that now, since I won't have a husband around to take help me anymore. Although, it's not like you were helping me in any way in the first place. I never thought it was going to be this tough taking care of two people with dementia. And only making two grand a month for all this work is not enough. And it's gotten to the point now where every day I'm spending close to 24 hours here. Watching over them and doing everything around their house. If you have the time to come to me with this sort of crap, then you have the time to ask your brother to come help you, right? He is your brother after all. So you both should be able to work together to deal with your aging parents. Even if he does come to help, he's so full of himself that he makes me do all the hard work while he sits around doing the simple stuff. Anytime I ask him to help with anything that isn't watching them sleep, or dusting the shell for the 500th time, he told me that he can't be asked. Cleaning their bathroom is nasty and should be done by me. I don't know how to cook any meals. He's pretty much forcing me to do everything for them. Well, if that's too much for you, then hire someone to come care for them. Or you could put them into a retirement home. You both can split the cost for that, so it shouldn't be out of the question, right? But if I don't do that, then the 2000 I make each month will go away. I do not want to lose that money I'm making right now. What? So, please come and help me, Harley. You were able to care for them all by yourself, right? You can be here to help teach my brother and me how to do the more difficult things when we ask, or even allow us to do the easy things while you handle the harder tasks. Everything is difficult when it comes to caring for those with dementia. Luna, you're just going to have to learn to deal with it all. But I was thinking that this kind of work would be a piece of cake, and I'd be making two grand to do nothing. I was supposed to be making two grand a month to sit here in this house with my parents while they took care of me. Weird to think yet you'd be willing to do all that after calling me the parasite. Well, I'm sorry that all of this caregiving work is getting to you, but it's too late now to back out of it. So... Good freaking luck! Please, I'm begging you to come and help. We're drowning here. Luna and I. I've been working non-stop at my parents' house, helping Luna with them, and I've had to take every day off work. My bosses are suspicious of me and they're thinking of slashing my salary. And they want to move me to a different office in the middle of nowhere. That would put me three hours away from my parents' house. Wow, what a nice company you work for. If I were them, I would have fired you already for being so unreliable and absent. <laughs> How can you say that with such joy? I was finally getting my life back, with a great income. I've worked for years to get to this position, with all the raises I've earned and now it's all going to disappear. The only way to save us all is if you come back here and take care of my parents again. 
Really, Kelton? There's no end to the work, Luna, and I have to do, and we're both at our wit's end. I want to go back to work and do my best before they move me and cut me off. So you have to come back here and help us or we're doomed. I mean, we got divorced, so you must be struggling too, right? You became a housewife, after all. And I bet finding a job has been hell for you, right? So you should be happy to come back to me and be my housewife again, right? I'm sorry, Kelton, but I'm back working for the company you made me quit. To tell you the truth, I never quit like you wanted me to. What? I just told my boss that I needed a few months off to take care of my family. As soon as we got divorced, I went back to work. And I'm making the same salary as before. Did you really think I was going to let you boss me around and make me your housewife? No way, Kelton. Hey, what do you mean, Harley? I told you to quit your job and be my housewife, right? Why would I ever do what you told me? You were so selfish to try to keep me from my job. I told my boss what you did, and he was on my side. He said he would give me up to a year off to take care of your parents and keep my job if I needed it. What? But I didn't even need a year because your little sister came to the rescue and took over for me. My boss was so happy that I was free from your parents and we celebrated that day. I even got paid for my time off, and I have more than enough of my savings for when I retire. And to be honest, I never want to be your wife again. What? I'm the one who's going to lose my salary and be forced to move to another office. You get to walk away from all this cot free? Well, if you didn't want this to happen, then maybe you should have kept your word and cared for your parents. I had it hard enough caring for both my parents on my own before they died. And then it was supposed to be your turn. But you dumped your turn on me and made me do twice the work. I think it's fair that you lose your salary and have to move to a faraway office after doing that to me. So stop whining and go deal with your sister and parents. Um, but that's... If you really want to keep your job before your bosses make their decision, then you hire someone to take care of your parents and shut the hell up. I'm sick of hearing you complain about everything. You only care about yourself. You're a grown man, Kelton, and you need to realize that you have responsibilities. But if you're still going to act like a selfish jerk about all this, then don't bother me with it. Go cry to someone who actually cares. Harley. They're your freaking parents, Kelton. They gave up everything to raise you and make you who you are. So go and repay them and care for them in their final days. And if you can't do that, then at least have some respect and hire someone to do it for you. I'm done listening to you and your sister moan all day and night about your duties. I'm nothing to you now, so goodbye, Kelton. After that, Kelton and Luna decided to dump their parents in a home. But they didn't last there for more than a few days. Their parents caused so much trouble that the home kicked them out and sent them back to Kelton and Luna. If they had sent them to the home when they were still sane, it might have gotten rid of them for good. But they were too late and too lazy. They made me do their dirty work, and their parents got worse and worse. No one could deal with them except for them. And I think that's why they deserve. It makes me so happy to see them suffer. After their parents came back, Kelton couldn't work anymore and had to move to a crappy office in the middle of nowhere with a huge pay cut. And Luna couldn't go to any of the concerts she wanted to because she was too exhausted from taking care of her parents. She couldn't even leave the house. I never thought it was going to be this tough taking care of two people with dementia. And only making two grand a month for all this work is not enough. And it's gotten to the point now where every day I'm spending close to 24 hours here. Watching over them and doing everything around their house. If you have the time to come to me with this sort of crap, then you have the time to ask your brother to come help you, right? He is your brother after all. So you both should be able to work together to deal with your aging parents. Even if he does come to help, he's so full of himself that he makes me do all the hard work while he sits around doing the simple stuff. Anytime I ask him to help with anything that isn't watching them sleep or dusting the shower for the 500th time, he told me that he can't be asked. Cleaning their bathroom is nasty and should be done by me. I don't know how to cook any meals. 
He's pretty much forcing me to do everything for them. Well, if that's too much for you, then hire someone to come care for them. Or you could put them into a retirement home. You both can split the cost for that, so it shouldn't be out of the question, right? But if I don't do that, then the 2000 I make each month will go away. I do not want to lose that money I'm making right now. What? So, please come and help me, Harley. You were able to care for them all by yourself, right? You can be here to help teach my brother and me how to do the more difficult things when we ask. Or even allow us to do the easy things while you handle the harder tasks. Everything is difficult when it comes to caring for those with dementia. Luna, you're just going to have to learn to deal with it all. But I was thinking that this kind of work would be a piece of cake. And I'd be making two grand to do nothing. I was supposed to be making two grand a month to sit here in this house with my parents while they took care of me. Weird to think yet you'd be willing to do all that after calling me the parasite. Well, I'm sorry that all of this caregiving work is getting to you, but it's too late now to back out of it. So, good freaking luck. Please, I'm begging you to come and help. We're drowning here, Luna and I. I've been working non-stop at my parents' house, helping Luna with them, and I've had to take every day off work. My bosses are suspicious of me and they're thinking of slashing my salary. And they want to move me to a different office in the middle of nowhere. That would put me three hours away from my parents' house. Wow, what a nice company you work for. If I were them, I would have fired you already for being so unreliable and absent. <laughs> How can you say that with such joy? I was finally getting my life back with a great income. I've worked for years to get to this position. With all the raises I've earned and now it's all going to disappear. The only way to save us all is if you come back here and take care of my parents again. Really, Kelton? There's no end to the work, Luna, and I have to do, and we're both at our wit's end. I want to go back to work and do my best before they move me and cut me off. So you have to come back here and help us or we're doomed. I mean, we got divorced, so you must be struggling too, right? You became a housewife, after all. And I bet finding a job has been hell for you, right? So you should be happy to come back to me and be my housewife again, right? I'm sorry, Kelton, but I'm back working for the company you made me quit. To tell you the truth, I never quit like you wanted me to. What? I just told my boss that I needed a few months off to take care of my family. As soon as we got divorced, I went back to work, and I'm making the same salary as before. Did you really think I was going to let you boss me around and make me your housewife? No way, Kelton. Hey! What do you mean, Harley? I told you to quit your job and be my housewife, right? Why would I ever do what you told me? You were so selfish to try to keep me from my job. I told my boss what you did, and he was on my side. He said he would give me up to a year off to take care of your parents and keep my job if I needed it. What? But I didn't even need a year because your little sister came to the rescue and took over for me. My boss was so happy that I was free from your parents, and we celebrated that day. I even got paid for my time off, and I have more than enough of my savings for when I retire. And to be honest, I never want to be your wife again. What? I'm the one who's going to lose my salary and be forced to move to another office. You get to walk away from all this cot free? Well, if you didn't want this to happen, then maybe you should have kept your word and cared for your parents. I had it hard enough caring for both my parents on my own before they died. And then it was supposed to be your turn. But you dumped your turn on me and made me do twice the work. I think it's fair that you lose your salary and have to move to a far away office after doing that to me. So stop whining and go deal with your sister and parents. Um, but that's... If you really want to keep your job before your bosses make their decision, then you hire someone to take care of your parents and shut the hell up. I'm sick of hearing you complain about everything. You only care about yourself. You're a grown man, Kelton, and you need to realize that you have responsibilities. But 
if you're still going to act like a selfish jerk about all this, then don't bother me with it. Harley. They're your freaking parents, Kelton. They gave up everything to raise you and make you who you are. So go and repay them and care for them in their final days. And if you can't do that, then at least have some respect and hire someone to do it for you. I'm done listening to you and your sister moan all day and night about your duties. I'm nothing to you now, so goodbye, Kelton. After that, Kelton and Luna decided to dump their parents in a home. But they didn't last there for more than a few days. Their parents caused so much trouble that the home kicked them out and sent them back to Kelton and Luna. If they had sent them to the home when they were still sane, they might have gotten rid of them for good. But they were too late and too lazy. They made me do their dirty work, and their parents got worse and worse. No one could deal with them except for them. And I think that's why they deserve. It makes me so happy to see them suffer. After their parents came back, Kelton couldn't work anymore and had to move to a crappy office in the middle of nowhere with a huge pay cut. And Luna couldn't go to any of the concerts she wanted to because she was too exhausted from taking care of her parents. She couldn't even leave the house. <laughs>